Harriet Tubman, a name that rings with the echo of courage, determination, and an unyielding spirit. Born as Araminta Ross in the solemn year of 1822, she was not always the legendary figure we revere today. Her early years were marred by the harsh realities of slavery in Maryland. As a young girl, she endured the unspeakable hardships that were sadly the everyday life of a slave. Whippings, starvation, grueling labor, these were her constant companions, the grim threads that wove the fabric of her existence. In the midst of this darkness, whispers of slave traders began to circulate like ominous storm clouds on the horizon. The mere thought of being sold and uprooted from her family instilled a fear in her heart, but this fear didn't cripple her. Instead, it ignited a spark inside her, a spark that would soon kindle into a blazing fire of determination. Harriet Tubman, or Minty as she was known then, found herself standing at a crossroads. One path led to a life of continued servitude and oppression, while the other, fraught with danger and uncertainty, held the promise of freedom. It was a decision that would have left many paralyzed with fear, but not Minty. She looked at the daunting challenge ahead, and she made her choice. In the face of daunting adversity, Tubman chose to seize her freedom, sparking the birth of a legendary journey. This was the moment when Minty, the oppressed slave girl, began her metamorphosis into Harriet Tubman, the fearless liberator. A spirit, once shackled, was now unleashed, setting the stage for a story that would echo through the annals of history. Freedom for Tubman was not a destination, but a journey she embarked upon with the help of the Underground Railroad. As rumors of slave traders began to circulate, the threat to her existence became impossible to ignore. It was then that Harriet Tubman, born Araminta Ross, decided to seize control of her destiny. She was not merely fleeing the chains of slavery, she was running towards the promise of liberty. Her daring escape to Philadelphia was a testament to her courage and determination. This was a journey fraught with danger, a relentless pursuit of freedom that required cunning, resilience, and a fierce will to survive. But Tubman was not alone in this endeavor. The Underground Railroad, a network of secret routes and safe houses that allowed slaves to escape to free states, was her ally. The Underground Railroad was not a railroad in the traditional sense. There were no tracks or trains, instead, it was a metaphorical railway. The stations were homes and businesses willing to offer shelter and aid to those fleeing slavery. The conductors were brave men and women who risked their lives to guide the slaves to freedom. And for Tubman, this was her first taste of what it meant to be free. The role of the Underground Railroad in Tubman's life cannot be overstated. It was not just a means of escape, it was a beacon of hope, a symbol of resistance against a system that sought to dehumanize her. But more than that, it was the start of Tubman's journey as a liberator. It was here that she learned the roots and strategies that she would later use to lead others to freedom. Tubman's journey to freedom was not a solitary endeavor. It was a collective effort, a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the power of solidarity. But it was Tubman's indomitable spirit, her unwavering belief in the possibility of freedom, that made her a beacon of hope for those still trapped in the chains of slavery. Tubman's journey was just beginning, her spirit of freedom ignited a flame that would lead others to liberation. This was not the end of her story, but the beginning of a legacy that would inspire generations to come. Tubman, now a beacon of hope, courageously led around a dozen rescue missions, freeing an estimated 60 to 80 people. This is not just a statement of fact, but a testament to the determination and bravery of a woman who, despite being born into slavery, rose above her circumstances to become a heroine of her time. Each mission Tubman undertook was fraught with danger and uncertainty. She was a fugitive, a woman on the run, yet she chose to risk her newfound freedom time and again to guide others on the perilous journey to liberty. Tubman's missions were not simply about transporting people from one place to another. They were strategic operations, meticulously planned and executed with precision. She used the cover of night, trusted in the North Star, and relied heavily on the secret network of safe houses known as the Underground Railroad. The risks were immense. Capture would mean a return to slavery, or worse, death. Yet Tubman was undeterred. She was known to say, I have never lost a passenger, and she stood by this claim. Her unwavering commitment to the cause and her strategic approach ensured the successful emancipation of those she led. But Tubman's work was not just about numbers, it was about people. Each individual she led to freedom was a life changed, a spirit unshackled. She gave them hope, courage, and the strength to start anew. 
her actions challenged the institution of slavery and served as a beacon of resistance against the oppression of her people. Moreover, Tubman was not just freeing individuals, she was igniting a movement. Her bravery and determination inspired others to take up the cause, to fight for their rights and demand their freedom. She was more than just a conductor on the Underground Railroad. She was a catalyst for change, a symbol of defiance, and a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. Tubman, a true liberator, was not just freeing individuals, but igniting a movement for freedom. Her legacy continues to inspire and remind us of the power of one individual's conviction to change the world. As the Civil War erupted, Tubman's fight for freedom took a new turn. No longer was she just a runaway slave, a conductor of the Underground Railroad, she was now a warrior in a war that would determine the fate of millions of enslaved people. In the midst of this national conflict, Tubman found another arena to exert her unfaltering courage. She served as a spy and scout for the Union Army. It was a dangerous role, fraught with risks and perils, but Tubman was no stranger to danger. Her audacious spirit, honed in her harrowing journeys on the Underground Railroad, equipped her well for this new challenge. Tubman's work as a spy was instrumental in aiding the Union's cause. She provided critical information about Confederate Army supplies and troop movements, outwitting and outmaneuvering the enemy at every turn. Her intelligence was invaluable, helping to turn the tide in several key battles. But Tubman's role in the Civil War went beyond espionage. She also led a military mission to liberate enslaved people. This mission, known as the Combahee River Raid, saw Tubman and her team liberate more than 700 enslaved people in a single night. It was an unprecedented feat, a powerful blow to the institution of slavery, and a testament to Tubman's leadership and strategic acumen. Tubman's impact on the Civil War was profound. Her intelligence work and the Combahee River Raid not only contributed to the Union's victory, but also dealt a severe blow to the Confederacy's morale and manpower. But more than that, Tubman's role in the war was a powerful symbol of the fight for justice and equality. Tubman, a warrior in the truest sense, fought not just for freedom, but for justice and equality. Her courage and determination continue to inspire us, reminding us of the power of one individual to bring about change, to challenge injustice and to fight for what is right. Behind Tubman's fearless spirit and unwavering determination was a strong Christian faith. Harriet Tubman, a woman who dared to challenge the norms of her time, did so not just out of a burning desire for freedom, but also because of her deep-seated faith. Her belief was not just a Sunday ritual, it was her guiding light, her beacon in the darkest of nights. It was a faith that was intricately woven into every fiber of her being, a faith that was a unique blend of Christian teachings and African beliefs, a testament to her roots and her journey. Tubman's faith was not confined to the walls of a church or the pages of a Bible. For her, there was no demarcation between the physical and spiritual worlds. Every step she took, every decision she made, was infused with her faith. It was her faith that gave her the courage to escape from slavery, to return and guide others to freedom, and to serve as a spy and scout during the Civil War. She believed with an unshakable conviction in God's protection and providential guidance. She was a woman who stared down fear, who faced danger with an unyielding resolve, and she did it all with the belief that she was guided and protected by a higher power. Her faith was not passive, it was active, vibrant, and alive. It was a faith that propelled her to action, that fueled her determination, and that enabled her to accomplish feats that many would have deemed impossible. Harriet Tubman's faith was not just a part of her, it was her. It was the source of her courage, the foundation of her strength, and the driving force behind her extraordinary achievements. Harriet Tubman, a woman of indomitable spirit and deep faith, remains a beacon of courage and determination, inspiring generations to come. Harriet Tubman, a name synonymous with courage, determination, and liberation. Born Araminta Ross in 1822, her journey from a slave enduring harsh conditions in Maryland to a beacon of freedom and hope is nothing short of inspirational. Her daring escape to Philadelphia marked the beginning of her liberation mission leading a dozen daring rescue missions and setting 60 to 80 people free via the Underground Railroad. But Tubman's heroism didn't stop there. During the Civil War, she served as a spy and scout for the Union Army, utilizing her intelligence and bravery to further the cause of freedom. Underpinning all her actions, her Christian faith served as a guiding light, a blend of Christian and African beliefs that saw no separation between the physical and spiritual worlds. 
Her belief in divine protection and guidance made her fearless, propelling her forward in the face of danger and adversity. Harriet Tubman's legacy lives on, resonating with the spirit of freedom, courage, and unwavering faith. Please like, share, and subscribe for more.